Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He is best known for hits such as Just a Friend and Baby You Should Let Me Love You and Break Up, which is my cut. <laughs> Now Single Mario is back with a new album <laughs> called Dancing Shadows, his first in nearly a decade. Take a look. Let me be your mirror, baby. In the dark, I'm the one you see. All the walls like this in shadows. Oh, so beautiful, so Please welcome mm. R&B sensation Mario. Oh, yes. 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 Looking just wrong. <laughs> yes. Good morning, ladies. Dance Good morning. the shadows, huh? Yes. That's much how you feel. That's what that is. That's how you feel. I almost asked you if you wanted a piece of candy. <laughs> Looking so grown this morning. Yes. Good morning. Come Good morning. down here close to us. Uh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. We want it's you good closer. to see you. It's good to see you. I remember we did the um, million years. Remember when we did the parade in New York City? Yes. Like a long time ago. It was, it was, ago. It was, it was a long time ago. Like a whole man. Yes. I'm, like, I don't know. I mean, insane. just just grown. I just been tried in the to industry. show up for y'all. You know. You're doing your thing. Showing up. Super long time. Your shirt is lit. Thank you. Everything is lit. Yeah. Everything is lit. I'm, Everything I'm is lit. I'm trying to keep my composure. So let me go and ask a question. So okay. Maybe a little thirsty. Somebody get some water over here. All right, so Mario, on a, on a serious set now, you have yes. grown up in the music industry. Mm -hmm. And so how do you think the industry has evolved since you first began? Yeah. Um, a lot has changed. The Digital Crusade has, you know, pulled everything yeah, together yeah. and it's also, you know, <coughs> you know, I think it's forcing us to be more creative, you know, mm -hmm. putting the, the, the control back into the artist's hands. Mm -hmm. You know, this project is independent. It's my first independent album. Mm -hmm. um, it just came out. My fans are loving it. The responses have been amazing, which I love about social media that you can reach you know, straight out to your fans and mm -hmm. touch them, FaceTime them. Yeah. Like, yes. You know, it's just, it's amazing. You know, I think it's w what you do with the platform. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I just downloaded it in the back. Thank yeah. you. And that's Thank fun you. to do. Because, like, yeah. nowadays you could just be like, oh, his album is out? Oh, okay. Go to your phone, right. download, download it. Now right, you pick it. your favorite song. Exactly. And also, you know, I'm <coughs> looking at analytics. I'm like, okay, well, we thought that we were going to put this out as the next single, but the right. fans love this record. Right. You know, right. it's like there's exactly. so many, right. you know, so it's, it's pretty cool. And now you're from Baltimore. <laughs> so Straight up. Y'all from, from down to the B-more. Where well, are you from, okay. D.C., right? Well, no, I'm from Maryland, like Ooh. right in between, oh, so you, over 310, you know, down oh, by so Bowie State, BSU. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, look here. Yeah, yeah, DMV in the building. Look here, DMV people. DMV, are we How did, now how did growing up in the DMV influence your sound? Because it's got a lot of sound coming out of that part of the out of the world. Absolutely. Um, I think coming from Baltimore with this particular album, mm -hmm. you know, and still being very connected to the city, I wanted to make an album that was also motivational. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when you look, think, when you hear the album and you, and you hear songs like Good Times and, and what you started, which are songs uh, based around my experience in Baltimore, but also based around my growth as a person and mm -hmm. as an artist, you know, really taking and, and using my music as therapy for me mm -hmm. um, as a creative. Um, so my album was 100% influenced from where I come from mm. and knowing that it's young kids there and you know, uh, that are going through the same thing I did growing up, mm -hmm. you know, in the inner cities with, you know, a drug in infested household and, right. you know, but a grandmother who, you know, made sure I went to church every Sunday right, and sang right. in church. Like, there was, there, was, uh, there was a lot of everything. So I think Baltimore gave me the, the foundation, mm -hmm. the strength, but it also gave me the, the, the street knowledge and understanding mm -hmm. how to move out here. You know what I mean? So, well, you know, yeah. it's, been, it's been nine years since your last album. Yeah. Now, during that time span, did you write the whole time or did you take a small break? Um, I did not write the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, there, was, there was touring in between. There was just living life in between. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I started at 14 years old. So by the time I was like 20, I'm just like mechanical. Everything's just like, it's been go, 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 right. sing this song, do this tour. There was never any time for me to get to know who I was as a young man. Mm. And I feel like that's important. When you want to write, you have to have substance. Right. You know, where you're going to get your substance from. So I think over this time with me switching labels and kind of just, you know, partnering uh, with Empire doing an independent thing, um, it gave me time to really find substance, you know, find myself. And that's what you're getting on Dancing Shadows. So yeah. Dancing Shadows is yeah. basically a mirror image of who you were in those nine years mm -hmm. yeah. it is it's and, and it's it's a it's 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 the byproduct of me studying music it's mm -hmm. the byproduct of my influences growing up you right. know i grew up listening to michael jackson james brown right. boys the men joe mm -hmm. and, you know my joe. mother was joe right. you know joe. uh joe. Joe. and then you know just in terms of like different types of alternative <laughs> music queen you know freddie mercury and michael oh, yeah. two of my oh, favorite yeah. artists like as, as performance prince yeah so
Well, okay, but for those of you who are joining us for the full hour, we will find out more about Mario's new role on Empire, hey. and he's going to play a little game with us next. Uh -oh. And remember, the conversation <laughs> always continues on Sister Circle TV on all social platforms. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're continuing our conversation with R&B singer Mario. Now, Mario, yes. I was down to the green room mm -hmm. <laughs> listening to uh, Dancing Shadows. Thank you. Okay, and one of the songs that stood out for me was One Man Woman. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people hear the term one woman man, mm -hmm. but you chose to flip the script, mm -hmm. as writers do, mm -hmm. and give it one man woman. Now, what are you mm -hmm. saying in this song? I mean, yeah. I know what it's saying, yeah. but tell the people. So it actually has dual meaning to it. You what? know, uh, when I say one man woman, a lot of times, especially today, you know, I have a conversations with a lot of women and they're like, well, there's no good men out here, mm -hmm. every man cheats, and da, da 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 And I'm like, you know, we don't believe in love. But it sometimes only take that one man to show you and to treat you right and mm -hmm. to have a, 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 the right connection with right. to give you that hope back for love, mm -hmm. you know? Message. So that's what that record was about. And it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be your father. Right. It could be your brother. It could be that shows you that presence, you know, uh, of a, uh, that, that male presence in mm -hmm. your life. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, we're going to switch gears for just one second. I would like to know about your new role on Empire. Yeah. Mm. Empire. Yeah. And, and how do you feel intertwining your acting mm -hmm. and music at the same time? Yeah. A lot of people always ask me, Yo, Mario, what do you like better, singing or acting? You know, from films I've done. And now I get to marry both of the worlds, yes. which is great. Um, I think that this season uh, is really great, and I think the songs are really good. You know, um, be, coming from a person who records all the time, I was worried, like, okay. I'm not getting a chance to write these songs. Are these songs really good? Are they like? Am I gonna like them? I love the songs. Um, I think that the character Devon is great. I think he's motivational. He's a kid who's coming from the streets that is taking care of his six sisters. Both mm -hmm. his parents passed away, so he's getting the opportunity to like of the lifetime to work with the Lions as they're rebuilding oh, the so empire. He's, so he's gonna be an artist signed to Empire. Or the Lions. Well, or we the don't Lions. know. Oh, we, right. they, they're oh, fighting wow. for the Lions. Yeah, that's so. exciting. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you gotta check it out. The first, uh, the first one is uh, on the 14th. Well, yeah. I can't mm. wait to see it. Yes. We would okay. like to play a game, though, what which kind of sort of gets in What kind of game are we business? getting into right no, now? Because y'all say you like to play it's really, it's, games. It's, it's, it's actually fun. very it's good. Okay, and it's inspired by your song, Just a Friend. Okay. So and let me love you. And okay. let me love. Okay. You. One or the other. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna bring up beautiful photos of beautiful women. Oh, okay. And Let's you're gonna either I'm say with it. she's just a friend, or, or you're gonna be like, you let should love me. Okay. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you're gonna let the people know if, they, if you would wanna love Every down night, on them. Loving you right. Now see. Okay. Don't, I got now you. don't do all that. Cause see now <laughs> then there's no That's game. Good. Okay. So <laughs> the first person that we're going to pull up is. Mm. I think she needs a little love in her life right now. So I'm going to love her. You know what I mean? Let oh, me love you. So, so we're going to love, love Nikki. We're going to yeah. love on Nikki. We're going to okay. love on Nikki for sure. It's a lot to love on. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a oh, shout oh. out, Nikki. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you like, you like short women? Okay, let's see. Let's see, <laughs> let's see who's next. <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. Okay. Funny lady. You know, I got to get to know her a little better first. You going to put her in the friend circle. I knew it. Just to get to know her a little better first. You ain't right. No, I, I want to get to know Tiffany better first. So what was the answer? I'm just a friend. Just a friend. Just a friend. Oh, I, I knew it, though. Man. Okay. <laughs> Take you on a date from Groupon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you know, I like Groupon. Crazy. Shout out to Tiffany. You know that thing, thing. I like that sexy mo. Ooh. Oh, you've got to get love. Yeah. You yes. gotta get love. Yeah. She bad. She bad. You should let me love you. Yeah, and then there's that. And, and then, then there's that. That's that. Wait, where's my picture? Is my picture next? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking though. Okay, oh, see. We definitely that we we I don't even know we friends. Right. <laughs> she can't be nobody friend or nothing, child. She need to go and sit down. Stacey somewhere. Dash is still beautiful. She's forever she's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yes, her beauty though. Do you gotta be pretty on the inside, child? Mm. She does. <coughs> oh, did I say you, that? You out said it. You okay. said okay. out loud. Who's the next person? Let's go down. Okay. Come on. Now she can fix. But she, she can fix your life. She don't even, have to be. You know. It doesn't have to be the type of love that you're thinking. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We of course we just friends. Yes. I love you. So I love her. So love and friendship. Love. It's like a, a loving friendship. Mm. That's right. Like, okay. Call it escort advice. You know, exactly. You know, we talk about life. Yeah. Oprah. 
Choose wisely. Yes, choose wisely. Yo, y'all ain't right, man. That's a billion dollars in that I knew y'all was about to get me in some. I don't know. Listen. I date Oprah. First of okay. all, I just, that's me, let me just a friend. Just a friend. Okay. okay. You are really strong it's Oprah. on this. Okay, who's the next one? Y'all are crazy, man. See, look, no, this is the thing. <laughs> I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to hold my thought, but just, just friends, for sure. You know, because sure. Kanye, he be yeah, out nah, here, he be out here tripping friends. down to the uh, subway. We definitely just friends. I'm yeah. cool. Yeah. Up under the train. I'm know. cool He said, he said, keep Kim K out your mind. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he said, keep right your mind. And last but not least. <laughs> Yo, she, I don't know, I don't even, I don't, nah, I'm cool. I don't want any, nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Just nothing. No friends. No nothing. Nothing. No You're Trump good. friends, huh? Um, yeah, no Trump friends. What did that little sign say? First of all. Be best. Be best. Oh, come on, Melania. Um, be I think that says be best. Be, be best. best. Girl, what you be talking about though? Mm. I, I that, that's we we're, we're, we're interviewing. I um, literally feel like she's uh, no, like Ma an Mario. Alien. She is. Thank she's you, Mario. An alien, bro. <laughs> and you can pick up Mario's so latest album, Dancing Shadows, on streaming services everywhere. Yes. But